I think people almost seem to think you're absolutely nuts, like by whatever you offer that somebody is gonna get and then you give it away. I think what it does is obviously it'll sell tickets, but the next time when you really give away or whatever you give and that happens for real, it just future paces the, ne the future events as well. Ryan, you're up, brother. You're in the hot seat. So how can we help you, man? What's going on in your world? I know you're all over the place. Every time I look up, you're on some jet going somewhere. I, I, I am, man. I'm, I'm all over the place. You know, I'm, I'm fortunate enough to be, I, I guess, one of the guys that's in high demand right this minute, willing to, to answer the call. I got a good team back at home. So this just stays here for right now. The world will know soon enough. But so I'm throwing this event called Million Dollar Mastermind. Uh, Vince, you've spoken one uh, a couple of years ago, maybe even last year. Shit. And uh, <clears throat> but uh, time flies. But yeah, you 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 spoke at one or maybe did a virtual one with us in 2020 or some shit, right? And it's our big event every year. Uh, originally, it was like 150, then 300, then 1200. This year, so far, I I started off a couple of things. Like I started off. It's going to do the regular thousand because I like a thousand person event. I think outside of that, it gets a little big or whatever. But but my wife and team challenged me to think a little bit bigger this year and give some of my quote unquote uh, competition slash haters a little bit of, of fuel. Right. So we went and rented a stadium <clears throat> and that wasn't really my original idea, but we rented this stadium for two days and um and then I hired this consultant that some of you know, but we'll leave his name out of this. And he taught me into doing it for three days. So I shelled out even more money for the stadium for three days. And I decided I should have went with my own gut, know my own shit anyway. But but now I got a whole other day of speakers that I got to fill. Right. So and, and I got homeboys like you guys that I can call on to speak and shit and and breakout sessions. And hell, I got a bunch of clients that are, you know, super wealthy. And, and you know, some of them are famous. It'll make sure both. So that's. That's really cool. But I say all that because I got roughly 1,500 tickets sold. Okay. So uh, last one I checked this morning, uh, plus, you you know, give or take, there's going to be guys like y'all that I'm, I'm not going to charge money to that are my friends that maybe you bring your team. So there's another 100 or 200 people. So let's just say I got 1,500 to 2,000 right now, but this bitch holds seven. Right. So, I mean, if I can go, I can go all the way in. So uh, nobody knows this right now, but when this is released, it'll be fine. But I shelled out the money for for Ed because I don't like somebody like Ed. I understand he's got a jet and stuff. I don't like favors and shit. So uh, I shelled out the money for Ed. I shelled out the money for um, uh, Eric Thomas. Right. And Cole tried it. Cole's like, oh, I can get you this discount. It's like, I don't want to be known as the dude that asks people for discounts. Just tell me how much the guy wants to, to be paid and I will fucking pay him his money. Right. I got Logan Paul uh, and I haven't announced him yet. So he's going to do a Q and a, but here's the big thing is I got Tom Brady. Okay. Like I shelled out seven figures. I set the market price on Tom Brady, man. Like, so I got Tom Brady coming to the event. He canceled uh, on one of my competitors. I, you can figure out who that is, but he canceled on them uh, two weeks ago and it was a big, big, big deal. And so I picked them up. And so I get like what I'd sent the money out today uh, to him. And so we've signed the contract. We're all in. I wired over the money. So I'm about to market this shit with TB12, the greatest motherfucker to ever play the sport of football. And we're going to do like a, a locker room thing where it'd be like the last time that you're in, like you get a chance to be in the locker room with Tom Brady and like, he's going to do a locker room talk and fuck. So there's going to be up sales and shit. I already got uh, a couple of sponsors from it, but reason why I tell you that long ass story is I think with him, I can sell another thousand or 2000 seats, but I'm, I'm open to ideas. A, I don't like to run ads. Uh, I like for people to spread the word and shit like that, which is working really well, but maybe you guys can give me some ideas or something faster. I haven't yet uh, told my influencer friends like you guys and asked for y'all's help yet. But as soon as I put Brady's name on the site, I'll be reaching out to a lot of those guys and, and girls as well. So but any any ideas you can help me to sell some tickets or get some publicity or whatever the hell I'm all ears. Cool. Major. So um, if if it's cool, I'll I'll, I'll kind of kick it off. I've got three specific ideas. Two of them, um, two of them I know I know work because I've done them myself many times for Fitness Business Summit, for Empire Business Summit, and now for the High Performance Business Summit that we're doing in June. Um, myself and Wes Watson. But strategy number one is you do a buy one get one free. 
right? So you go, hey, look, you know, success loves company. And so you buy a ticket, you get another seat free. Odds are they're going to bring someone like-minded. Whenever I used to do that at Fitness Business Summit, they would bring their business partner. They would bring somebody else that was a decision maker who could join my mastermind. So a buy one, get one free ticket is one way. Another way that I've done or that I consistently do at when I have multi-speakers, this works for multi-speakers. And I saw Grant Cardone do this once is when he did that stadium in Florida, you sell a whole section off. So if you've got 7,000 seats you need to fill, let's say you've got 2,000 or 2,500 on your, on your own, you're like, all right, hey, Ed Milet, uh, you're speaking. Well, I guess you're, these are paid speakers. Others who are going to speak, you might want to say, I'm going to co-produce this with you. So you might go to Ed and say, hey, Ed, what if you're a co-producer? What if this is also kind of your event? Like it's a Ryan Stuman and Ed and Eric Thomas and whoever, uh, and anyone else who wants to co-produce. Let's say um, Vince here wants to co-produce this with you. And that way he can say, man, I you know bought a stadium, filled it up. We ran this event. He would buy 500 seats from you at a hundred bucks a seat or 200 bucks a seat. And then he could sell it for 500 bucks a seat right and he's buying off sections and this only works for big mega events we're not doing that for the event that uh wes and i are doing because that's just 550 people at, at the western hotel in costa mesa that's the capacity there but we are doing the buy one get one free um so, so and then selling off sections is the uh is the other way to do it and then bro oh i gotta God. yeah i got i gotta tell you and, and this is something that um that my let told me at Joel Marion's birthday party last week, he goes, you know, it's okay to ask for help. I'm like, Oh man, I'm not that guy. I don't want to just like you. Yeah. I don't want to, I don't want a freebie. I don't want to, Hey, you owe me one. Uh, and any of those things, but there's also times where we reciprocate. Like Ed's asked me to speak at Arte. He's asked you, I'm sure. And we've said yes. And so there's time of reciprocation. And while you're paying him, Maybe the reciprocation is, hey, Ed, can I ask you to promote this? Can I create real cool promo content for you to promote this to your email list? I'll write the email. Um, like, bro, if you were like, hey, B, uh, would you want to come out and speak and also promote this? I'd promote the shit out of it like it's my own event. Like, I love what you've done for me. I love what you do. I love the, the, the way you roll. Um, and so sometimes just asking for that also helps. And I've gotten better at it. Uh, but I needed that reminder from Ed. So consider this a message from Ed to you as well. That it's okay to ask for help from the friends that you helped and supported, uh, and they'll they'll be more than happy to sell it, promote it, and talk about it for you. Yeah, it's funny. I, I shared a meme yesterday that said uh, from the Afro Brutality page that said uh, nobody works harder than a motherfucker that don't like asking anybody for anything. <laughs> That's exactly right. <laughs> True. Yeah. So you can carry the goddamn burden yourself. Yeah. Just a side note on that. I think it's interesting though. Everyone here is the same way. I think we all don't want it. We don't want any favors. We're willing to invest in whatever. And it's just the contrary. It's just the complete opposite of the individuals who struggle. So if you are watching this, I think you should take that, everyone, you know, just that, that in. Um, Allison, did you have anything on that? I know yeah. you do. You, you, you do a lot of events. Yeah, the, the event sounds really exciting. And I've been leading events for uh, 12 years now. And so I, I definitely know that feeling of, you know, that gut feeling of, you know, days are approaching, counting the days of how many you have left to get, get the butts in the seats. And so I love the idea, uh, uh, Pedro, of the buy one, get one free. I would just add to that a couple things. One is I don't like to do the free because often those people don't show up. So if, if they commit, like, I want to know they're going to show up because, you know, I know what our numbers need to be. So I, I, we do a buy one and then, and we call it, um, we don't do friend because then it, they would bring people that weren't our ideal avatar, you know, could be just bringing uncle Joe or something that didn't even have a business. And for us, we're targeting that higher level business owner. And so, uh, we, are really specific on who that friend is and you know as a business owner and you know we'll put that all you know all over the place but we charge something for it so even if you're charging you know fifty dollars for that ticket or 49 dollars or something when people have skin in the game the other thing that we've done we do contests with our community 
Uh, I run a company called Pinnacle Global Network, and we have a, a big community of business owners around the world. So we do contests with them and reward them with trips and flying out to their company and, you know, my team mentoring for them for a couple of days, different things like that. And uh, we, you, you have to really pump them up and get them excited about it. And, and, and the truth is, is that people, you know, as much as we hate to ask and we feel uncomfortable, people actually feel really good to give, especially if they are going to be looking like the hero. If someone refers to the event and, and someone has a transformation in your audience, like they've helped this occur, right? And so there's a real leadership there. So I think it's really stepping up and talking to your community about leadership and how they have an opportunity to transform people's lives and how good it feels when you're in the audience and you're seeing that person over there and they are having a massive transformation. So that's, you know, really from the emotional place. And then the, the last thing is um, we did this last time and it worked really well. When someone buys a ticket, they get an autoresponder email that says, um, you know, we're, we will give you this money back. Like, would you like to get your, your investment back when you refer one person, uh, you know, we will then give this back to you. So they've already made the investment, you know, they're committed to coming. And so it's kind of like That's an affiliate smart. that it's kind of like an affiliate payment. And then, you know, and then that the next person does it and the next person. So you're kind of trading the, you know, the downline of, of the ticket uh, fee. So even even uh, just man, that is brilliant. I, I really appreciate that because even the, just the autoresponder whether it was selling them another ticket or giving them an incentive to, or, or whatever it is, that's, that's brilliant in itself. Most of us salespeople, myself included, it's like, okay, the sale is over with. Now it's time to start delivering. It's like, actually, Hey, the, 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 the delivery is the event. We can still sell them on giving us more referrals and shit in the meantime. So uh, that sometimes it's like you said, Pedros, it's like the little simple shit it's like, you know, you send an autoresponder selling them something. No shit. That's brilliant. You know, <laughs> doing that like our whole career, right? I thank love you know. for that. That's awesome. Think of it ourselves. Yeah. Cool. That's good stuff. That's good stuff. Okay. So I got a couple things. Um, all right. So number one, I think that there's three things that t people typically will get people to move. And, and I, Alice and I talk quite a bit. And the, mo the most important, or the, the thing that, you know, your followers or whoever, what they want is you. They want your time. That's what they really want. They want that access. So I think time is, is more valuable to you than money and, and to the client purchasing time with you, right? So what I would do is come up with three giveaways that you get, that you get either enrolled in like a raffle or something if you attend the event, right? One would be time. Maybe they get a year in your mastermind that they, by just getting a ticket, you sell the hell out of the, the you, you future pace, like the, the, the advantages of being in your mastermind, you're going to raffle off one of those. The other one is obviously money. So one person is going to win 50 G's. I don't know, just something ridiculous, right? And then the other one's a gift, a Ferrari. I'm not going crazy, but you know what I mean? Like something crazy that they would want. So by attending and uh, by, yeah, obviously there's an action for that. But that's part of what you can do now in terms of promotion when, when you're marketing it. Um, the other thing I would do, that's one. So I'd come up with three. Gift, something like money, and it'd be three different raff, and then time with you. The other thing I would do is um, like a, sh a shared webinar tool, or tour, excuse me. So from with your speakers or whoever, just have them plan a webinar where you guys do it together to make it simple. And you just go on a blitz webinar tour with everyone where you can take clips and you can obviously share with their audience what's going on. And, uh, you know, I don't know how many speakers there are, but I'm pretty sure that the people you're mentioning um, would love to do that just to be part of that because they're sharing the stage. They get to get on there with you and you guys do a shared webinar and then you guys sell the ticket. So I, combining what everyone said, I think the shared webinar was some type of crazy. I mean, just re I think people almost need to think you're absolutely nuts, like by whatever you offer that somebody is going to get and then you give it away. I think what it does is obviously it'll sell tickets, but the next time when you really give away or whatever you give and that happens for real, it just future paces the, the future events as well. So those, that would be some advice I'd give you off the bat that you could, that's actionable. Cool. Man, that's good stuff. 
you know, uh, the, the, the webinar tour is good. You know, my audience is, is like you guys audience are a little higher level, but I could go and do like a 15 second from Sean Whalen, Ed, my let something that wouldn't be a burden on their time. Wouldn't be a burden on, on my time. I could have my video editors put it out to our audience where they're like, Hey, come here. I can use it on social media. So that's, that's good shit too, man. All, all three of you gave me like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, 11 bullet points. So like surely something fucking good is going to come out of all that. You know what I mean? <laughs> so awesome. th- thank you guys so much. Bedros, appreciate you guys. So by the way, when this does come out and hopefully, when is the event, by the way? When is this, when is the date? When- June, uh, June 3rd through 5th. Okay, so you have some time. So if you're watching this, go get a ticket to that event. Make sure you get that ticket. Awesome. So MDM2022.com. Got it. Got it. Where is it going to be? Where, where uh, or can you say that yet? Or in, Yeah, it's in Frisco, Texas, which is uh, a suburb of Dallas. It's the, uh, you can Google it. It's like the number one city in America, like five years in a row. It's a pretty badass little city. I hope you enjoyed the show. We're having a lot of fun with the Battle Mastermind and we're going to keep them coming for you. But you got to do me one favor. And that's just hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. And until the next one, I'll see you on the internet. Later.